Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing yesterday's problem of the day that is seven segment display. This problem is based on greedy and mathematical. This problem is a medium level problem with a success percentage of 60%. Let us read and understand the problem statement. So we are given a seven segment display and we need to write down a digit from 0 to 9. So how 0 is written? 0 is written by using 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 0 is written by using 6 segment. Okay. 1 is written by using 2 segment. 2 is written by using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 segment. This is how it is done. Now, what we need to do? Given a positive number n and then a string. So, we would be given a n as well as a s. Okay. You have to rearrange. So, what you need to do is, suppose you would be given this. Okay. Suppose you are given 0, 1, 2. Okay. 0, 1, 2 as s. First, you need to do as s. So, for 0, it would be how many? It would be 6, 2 and 5. So, 6 plus 2 plus 5. So, we have used 6 plus 2, 11. 11 plus 2 is equal to 13. We are using 13 segments. Okay. Now, what you need to do is, you would be given a value n. Okay. Suppose the value is 3. So, we need to have a 3 digit integer on a second segment display. But, we need to use only 13 segments. Okay. This is what you need to do. And there is one more clause that is done. The number, suppose the number is 003. This is a one digit number, but in the seven segment display, this would be considered as a three digit number. Okay. And now you need to minimize this value. Okay. You need to minimize as much as you can and you need to return that integer. Fair enough. This is how you need needs to be done. So, what we can think of is make every digit as zero and return. Okay. Mean every digit as zero and return. So, if the no, n is equals to four, then the number of segments required is six multiplied by 4 that is 24. Now suppose the segment S has 20. Okay. So 20 we need to reduce upon 4. Okay. How do we do that? Okay. So let us think about that. 0 is using 6 but 1 is using 2. So what we can do is suppose if this value is 24 if the value is instead of 24 is equals to 18 then converting this to 1 would be done. Okay. How? 6, 3, 6, 12, 18 plus 2. So, this can, this should be 20. Sorry. This should be 20 because the value of 1 it also needs to be taken into account. Okay. This is how it needs to be done. So, what we can do is the most simplest approach is we can make every value as 0. Okay. Every value and 0 and then greedily start modifying the values from the right hand side. Why? Because the weightage modification, if see from 0, we can't go to minus 1. So, we need to increase. So, if we are increasing, then increasing that number, increasing a digit in a number on the right hand side is more beneficial than in left side if we want to minimize and vice versa if you want to maximize. So, what we would do is we would assign every value as 0. Then we would start alternating or modifying the digits on the right hand side then we would move forward we would keep moving forward till we are not satisfied with the value so what are the things that needs to be done okay as told as it is done okay first we need to take out the val segment used in the given s okay suppose that value is equals to the tot value next what we would do is we would have we have used till now sum is equals to n multiplied by 6 we would assign every value as 0 then we would have an array of size n. We would have every value as 0. Okay. Every value as 0. Now, if we want to decrease upon, if the value is same, we won't do anything. If we want to decrease, we would just make it to the value 4 or 1, whatever you feel like. Here, I have used 4. Now, let us move forward and see the implementation because this implementation is quite straightforward. You don't need to look upon and see for every, what are the different possible scenarios we can have and then take out the minimum out of it by using recursion. But what you can do here is directly use a greedy approach. Okay. So, let us see for the first test case. So, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
so for 2 what are the number of values for 2 we have 5 okay for 2 we have 5 okay for 3 we would have something then we are making the values we are assigning every value to 0 then we are decreasing making it to 1 we are increasing the digits but we are decreasing upon the number of segments used and it works the same as here also this is how we would do so let us see first we would take out the value of sum and next what we would do is we would map each of the values with the number given so 0 would be 6 and then 1 would be 2 3 would 2 would be 5 3 would be 5 4 would be 4 okay and then 5 would be 5 6 would be 6 7 would be 3 8 would be and 9 would be so we are just basically mapping the values then initially we are the sum as 0 next what we are doing is we are first taking out the value suppose the value is equals to 5 as it is character so we are taking out the value by subtracting the value of 0 then we are taking the mapped value okay suppose we are using 5 so we would get the value of 5 we would add it here then we would iterate on whole of the string now next what we would do is we would assign the value 2 okay we would assign the value 2 and we would make every value as 0 okay 1 okay 1 1 this is what we are doing next if the sum is greater than 4 we would add the value 4 and we would subtract and we would keep moving forward whatever is left we would assign and or add that value to the sum okay then what we need to do is now we have 0 1 2 3 4 then we would take out the mapped value if it is 0 we would have 6 if it is 2 we don't have something known as 1 if it is 2 we would have 1 if it is 5 we would have 2 okay this is what we are doing so 6 mapped to so 0 2 is 1 3 is this and 4 is this but there is one more thing to discuss okay what is this thing that see for 0 for 5 5 okay for 5 5 we have 2 also we have 3 also we have 9 also and we have 5 also so what would be the most optimal thing the most optimal thing is to assign the value 2 because it would minimize the value that is why for the value for the value 5 we are taking the value 2 okay this is what we are doing see okay so if there are duplicates suppose 2 is having the value 5 3 is having the value 5 then 5 is having the value 5 so to minimize the result we are using this value so this was it thank you and have a nice day if you face any difficulty regarding this problem consider commenting them in the description okay i would try to answer that thank you